What's up guys? I'm Crystal Lee Naomi, aka Jasmine Borders on Tyler Perry's Sisters. Be sure to subscribe to the Haves and the Have Nots review for not only reviews on the Haves and the Have Nots, but also on Sisters. And while you're at it, give your girl a follow on Instagram at Crystal Lee Naomi. And I'll see you every Wednesday at night only on BET. All right, Sisters fans, I've already done my trailer breakdown for the season finale episode in the shadows. Um Honestly, I don't think there's too much for me to talk about. Like I said in my episode review, the episode itself was meh. I mean, it did have some moments, but overall, we were just recycling the same tired dialogue. Andy's not going to listen to anybody but her own self and her feelings. Uh, Sabrina and the Calvin thing, nobody gives a damn about that. Even Danny and Maurice speak for the audience where it's like, look, get over it. We don't care. Uh, Preston's been missing for a few episodes, so Danny's just there as a stand-in for the audience telling people, look, I've tried to tell Andy exactly what you all were saying, but you're telling me to shut up. And, you know, with the Andy and Gary thing, I've already done a video about Zach and Karen. This one is going to focus on not necessarily just Gary and Andy, but we're talking Jasmine and the fact that she popped up like Melinda at the end of Acrimony. A lot of people have been hitting me up, yo, do a video about what happens in the trailer. Uh, Jasmine's about to pull up uh, uh, Acrimony right now. So before moving forward, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button to show you like the video. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description box below. Hit that bell notification icon and select all. That way you don't miss out when I post content. And if you are a frequent viewer of the channel, I appreciate the support. I'm trying to increase the percentage of watch time that comes from subscribers. So if you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Trying to reach at least 40% watch time by the end of the month. So will Jasmine kill Andy in the season finale? I think it's a simple no. Because they've already filmed season three and KJ Smith is in it. But you could argue, well, Jeremy, even if she dies in the finale, she could be brought back for the first couple episodes. No, no she's she, she's going to be fine. Given that Jasmine breaks in, um, remember continuity. Jasmine knows where Andy lives. She was actually at the um, at the apartment last season when her, Leslie, Gary and Andy were together. So. Jasmine knows where Andy's at. Now, does she know Gary's over there? Does she know Gary is spending the night? I mean, in the trailer, I do believe that Andy asked whether or not um, Gary wants to move in. So I don't know if Jasmine was following, watching Gary. Because remember, towards the end of season one, she knew that Gary was over at Andy's apartment. Hence why she wrecked the car and everything and waited for him to come out. So one could argue that the same thing happens here where um, Jasmine follows Gary, knows that he's over at Andy's place. But she also said in the parking lot, this ain't over B. So who's to say that she wasn't planning on going into Andy's place that night, regardless as to whether or not Gary's there? Who knows? My biggest question is, wasn't she supposed to be arrested? I mean, I'm just saying now there, there was a police report. So that does, two, two things can be true here. Well, technically three. Number one, just bad Tyler Perry writing. You know how the fact that realistically a lot of stuff that is supposed to happen doesn't really happen. But also, um, well, how stuff happens in the real world isn't how things happen in Tyler Perry land. Also, number uh, two, maybe Jasmine laid low until that night where she broke into the house that's another possibility maybe she just wasn't arrested from that number three she got arrested but somehow got bail mm, i don't know not to mention i mean you could make the argument maybe the two girls take the fall for her and then jasmine gets out promising that she'll get them out somehow because remember there were no security cameras in the parking lot apparently there's only security footage from people going in and out that's another thing to keep in consideration except remember uh hayden has everything recorded he has it all on his phone so um let's just forget the big plot point of how the hell is jasmine there i mean shouldn't she be arrested what do you think she's going to do with andy babe is that you oh no baby it ain't <laughs> No, it's me. So, um, like I said in my trailer breakdown, I mean, it might seem like Andy's worst nightmare, but to have Jasmine standing over my bed, oh God, that would be a dream come true. So the question is, 
what is Jasmine planning to do? Uh, probably shoot her because of the fact that Fatima had a gun. She's already said she has nothing to lose. Karen hinted at shooting Gary if he ever did anything to hurt her friend Andy again. So let me just be real. We saw Melinda with a gun. I think it's safe to say that Jasmine's going to have a gun. But will she shoot Andy? I think it's probably going to be Gary. Think of it this way. Gary is probably still there. And plus, Andy wouldn't say, baby, is that you? If Gary wasn't there that night. Also, you look at the fact that towards the end of last season, Gary just couldn't win for losing. He was actually trying to do the right thing. He was being kinder to Andy. He tried to walk away from the situation with Jasmine, but she attacked him. She got hurt. Then he got arrested because of that. So I feel like it's a situation where Gary's going to be in the wrong place at the wrong time and end up getting hurt. Now, does he end up getting injured saving Andy? That's a possibility. I feel like possibly if Jasmine has a gun, there might be a situation where Jasmine and Gary fight over the gun and one of them gets shot or maybe it's a situation where she pulls out a gun on Andy and they fight over the gun and Gary gets shot similar to how in the oval when Kareem and Barry were fighting with the gun and then Richard got shot Gary might be you know a bystander same situation in the haves and the have nots where Warlock and his crew shot out the uh, motel room and Quincy Jr. got shot so I feel like there are plenty of ways this could uh you know end up but I don't think any of these characters will necessarily get killed, but somebody's most likely going to get shot because when you look at the circumstances surrounding the finale, I honestly don't think the stakes are that high. I just feel like, you know, I've said it many times in these videos that a lot of what's going on is rinse and repeat from episode to episode. When you look at the finale of last season, seriously, who thought the feds, I know that Leslie kept telling Andy they're coming for you. They're coming for him, but nobody expected the full on SWAT, the FBI to like ransack that home in the country and arrest Gary. Who expected that? So I feel like the tone is a bit downscaled. It's almost like season one's finale was like Avengers Endgame, whereas this finale feels more like the first Avengers. It's like a smaller scale. So I don't think that, um, somebody's going to die necessarily, but I feel like somebody at the very least will get shot. I mean, hell, last season, you had a couple people get shot. Zach got stabbed. Yeah, that's right. What was it? Aaron's ex-wife shot herself. The mother-in-law came with a fake gun. Bean got shot by Karen after he stabbed Zach. And, and the list goes on. But when you look at uh, this particular season, it's been a, a bit tame in comparison when you think about it. So... Do you think Jasmine's going to kill Andy and or Zach? Or do you think Jasmine's going, I mean, excuse me. Do you think Andy or Gary, or do you think Jasmine herself will die? Please don't. Don't kill my boo. She's crazy, but she's fine. So if you want to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App. And with that being said, I'll talk to you in the next video.